Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Pick and Play. This one forward with the new Man the Guns DLC. We're back in Great Britain. We're going to continue on. We are going to reassess our, con our continental commitments as France has already left. They've already made their own Entente Alliance. So why should we even bother? We need to look around the world and see the situation. I think uh, from here we could possibly make the charge onto, say, Madras fairly easily. If not, possibly just make the connection over into Madurai, move through. Perhaps even take over French India. But something about Amelia Earhart dying, who cares about her? Who even cares? We can give refuge to yeah, Italian scientists. We'll be alright with that. Up until the point where Germany completely destroys them. Still von Mackensen at the moment. See how long that lasts. As for us, I am going to put one fleet, specifically, this fleet, which is entirely composed of destroyers, very, well, Gen 1 destroyers. <clears throat> I'm sending that to go ahead and uh, break themselves in the name of uh, benefits. So you, actually, your entire fleet, you're just the training fleet. Let's see. Uh, yeah, enable that and disable automatic reinforcement. Disable that. But do enable automatic split off. So if any of the ships get hurt, break off. It's okay. It's okay. You got a joint. What just happened? What just happened there? There was a. Hmm. Do you know? I think. I think Japan just took over the north of China. Okay. Okay. Marco Polo Bridge incident. Yeah, okay. And Italy amends the naval treaty. Italian um, Admiralty has refused to comment on fumers that several ships currently under construction have already planned without treaty restrictions in mind. Hmm. So, we could withdraw, but we need 150. And remove national spirits and activates escalator clause invoked. Well, escalator clause invoked is already there. Max change, carrier max cost. Replaces London Trade Sanatory, which is here. So that improved it. Okay, so it's good that we're getting some Navy experience, because I can build bigger ships now. Which means it might actually be worthwhile to start building some of these things. Group torpedo launchers, magnetic detonators, small caliber, large caliber. Oh, there's lots of things to do. It's going to be nice to know when any of this makes sense. But that also means I can get building on some new ship renovations. Let's see, so that would be... Oh, 17 and 19, did I? No, because two are being used. Right, okay. So I could say, break out with an early ship model hole. Admiral class, everything else I think is with early. This is the Admiral class battle cruisers. Is your early, early heavy ship hull? Early heavy ship hull. Okay, early heavy ship hull, but more expensive than Nelson class. Early Heavy Ship Hole, 1936. Ah, there it is. Model 2. Okay, let's see this. Auto fill it. Still too big. Okay, so we can bring some of that down, make better ships. Carrier hull. Auto. Just slightly too expensive. However, if I brought it down using a secondary battery down, it would take 28. Okay. If I go to my naval screen, China's declared one of the Guangxi click. Still no naval accidents as of yet, but if you leave your ships going for too long, there almost certainly will be. 0.365 per day. Republic and Spain has won their war. Japan abandons the naval treaty. Everybody be abandoning the naval treaty. Could I? Should I? Hmm. Coulda, coulda, woulda. China versus the Guangxi click. So China is going for that. I wonder what Japan will be doing if you... I think you'll have a re rebellion in Manchu Kuo, but that might not be the most effective rebellion, considering the fact that we that you're not going to be at war with China, apparently. Who knows what happens there? We got new uh, things to deploy? Not really. You seem to don't actually like the idea of deploying there. What's the problem? Not enough motorized. Yeah, that could be important. Ooh, lots of new stuff there. General rearmament to get rid of British austerity. Hmm. Service overseas, or do we isolate the Mediterranean and make our alliance with Germany? Do we consolidate the British Isles? Gains claims, Ceylon? 
Let's get that. Let's get some claims on Ireland. They're weak. They'll be the first stepping stone towards marching on to all the other nations. Yep, good. You guys, are good. Put yourselves into this. You are actually just a defensive unit entirely. Adrian Brody. Adrian Brody. Nope. What does it take? Appease loyalists. Unlocks appeasement. Hmm. God save the king. I like the Mediterranean threats. What was it that got rid of war? To oh yeah, war to end all wars is already gone, meaning our manpower is back up and running. Good, 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 good. You are still Kaiserfak. Hmm. Not sure what they're up to. Oh well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Fine, fine, fine. Restoration of Austria-Hungary. Ooh. Good, so Austria-Hungary exists under Otto. That's two of them back. Now Czechoslovakia. You must fall, as well as Yugoslavia. The Chinese United Front forms. Out of what? It started with the communists against the Guangxi clique. Really? Including state of Xinjiang, which has become non-aligned. Ooh. Zaibe, Mongolia, Tibet. Okay. Japan's going for strikes south. I don't like that because I happen to be in the south, and I prefer if you did not attack me. I much prefer that. And I don't have an alliance either, so I'd probably want an alliance with the Germans. Although, if we could get that, then we could give the Germans back uh, Tsingtao. Yeah, you know, no harm, no foul when it comes to wars and whatnot. Signal company. Well, we still don't have a lot of army experience, but I can start doing colonial garrisons because I feel like we just need a lot of those. They get 20 more. I'll send them to different areas. Deploy units. Ah, yes, the tank brigades. They are very much brigades. They are pretty useless. In my opinion. In my personal opinion. Ooh, India Pakistan. Sound a white piece. I'll, I'll be able to take them out individually. Okay. You take that and get that. Please, thank you. It's all that the British Isles. Anything we can do? We can leave. Well, they. Hmm. You are really going to... Oh, uh, gee. One division there. 8 to 10, so it's a 9 stack division. Fairly normal. Fairly normal. Oh, we have enough Navy experience that I could throw out... What would I even want to build? Because we got the level 2 cruiser, level 2 destroyer. I'm going to need to throw out some... We got level 1 of this and this. What's the difference with you? You just have extra torpedoes. So I guess I don't need this. I can decommission that one. You're fine, you're fine. I can decommission the early hull. Wonder what that means for any of my ships. Adventurer class, a mine layer. Adventurer class. Interesting. Although I might want to build up. York, York, early hull models, early hull models. I don't think we have we got Cruiser Hull, Mark II, Lander Class, Mark II. Okay, so I can make some, say, Mine Lane Cruisers. Because you would be medium battery, medium battery. Mm. Extra? Here? Ah, there we go. Anti-Submarine Warfare. Versus, so this is a historical light cruiser. Okay. A lot of these. Uh-huh. We got mine layer. Ah, oh, it's a lot of interesting stuff that I just don't know how to use. Have I lost any units? No, this is army. Have I lost anyone? Not to enable accents, not yet. Simon Sama joins the the what? Government of National Defense. Okay, but you're just fighting against the Guangxi clique. What is Japan even up to? It's an interesting turn of affairs over there. Decisions are available. Promise of peace. Well, I do not promise that. I don't promise that at all. I consolidate the realms. Declare war. Yeah, boy. I'll go in without my allies. Now, this does mean that my fleet, which is, by the way, active, you guys, actually going to have to go on patrol. Right there, right there, right there. And also, Air Force, which I've been completely neglecting. You're going to have to go over Dublin. 
Oh, why are you shaped like that? I don't even understand. Get over that. No, it's too much. It's too much in you to do that, so I'll put you to 200. You take up some of the lost revenues. Go over there, go over there. Go straight over. Do all that good stuff, that goodness. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. You. Okay, you're already doing that. Should have probably done this earlier. Yeah, please and thank you. Find your way over there if you can. Boom, boom. Get on over there. As for us, should be a relatively easy war to bring these little whippersnappers back in line. Force attack your way through that province. And then everywhere else is not all that important. Yep, there we go. Break them. And we're going to loot, get out of fuel in 1.7 days. Okay. In 1.7 years, sorry. I say the Mediterranean threat. I want an alliance with Germany. I ain't afraid of no ghost. So, 1.4 now. Okay. 1.4 years. Is it because we have a naval engagement now? What happened? Might just be because we had that happen to us. We need to come this way. And the next target would be Cork. So yeah, one of you continue on to Cork. You, when you're through, get that way. You, when you're through, just go into Dublin. You, stop them right there. I think we'll do fine. And take the capital. Because Wellington. Washington. Come on through, boys. Just keep them steady. Yeah, even with the relatively weak armaments, it's still doing pretty well. Shadow Scheme Factory's taken in use. Haha, the Shadow Scheme. Well now, wait, am I actually gonna have to fight through there? Mm, yes. Oh, that sucks. Fine, fine. We'll take a fight up there. Well, fine, we'll have to take care of this guy, and then hopefully just a general scheme will be enough. Basic attack plan, cannot. There you go. Hmm, slowly running out of fuel. Oh, it's because I have my air force in play now. That's it. I didn't have my air force before, now I do. That must be the difference maker. So, if I get my air force, because yeah, let's look at this. Army is... Gun consumption is 297. Air product air is 1,000. Current fuel max capacity uh, 1,000 per day. Current fuel is fuel capacity is 300. Mm. Yeah, so it's the navy does hurt it, but the maximum consumption there is also hurting us. Uh, if I go to this navy and make you go on strike force, that'll help things. Obviously, I shouldn't. Yeah, there we go. Coming back up. Ireland has capitulated. There we go. And we seize their oil. Lovely. So, yeah, even as worthless as these divisions are, they still hold pretty well. But with your division, I suppose we've already taken over Ireland. Strange that we didn't need a fight over it, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We can withdraw from the naval treaties. This will reduce the restriction on the cost of Naples ships of other signatories. Uh, France and United King States. I'm not really planning on necessarily fighting them. I might as well hold to our own beliefs. At least eight divisions. India is united. But they have very few men. They have... Oh, God. How do they have so few men? India is weak. They are not in any faction. And as such, these troops will be sent... You stay at home. You're the home guard, after all. Do your job. You slob. Then we need... Okay, colonial garrisons. They're coming up in the world today. It takes everything you got. We need that. Then also some proper infantry divisions. We barely got any you know, army experience from that fight because it wasn't even a fight at all. It was just crushing the rebels. That was all it was. We can go for 37 techs. Oil processing seems like it's going to be important to me. As we can put that right smack dab in the middle of the country. 
seems to be uh, quite the problem with that. There it is. The interwar bomber. Bam, get rid of 10 days of production. It's fine with me. Bustin', bustin', bustin'. Okay. Now then, obviously I'm going to need you when you're going to go to forward operating base Cylon. Oh, we took out them before it, our force attack even ended. Wow. Yeah, we're going to take over this. Let's see, East India. We'll put on high priority. Your entire force will come here. These troops will just fall in. And these troops will go to forward operating base Cylon. For now, or more specifically, they will get a naval invasion plan ready on Mahad on Madras. Which yeah, one unit is not gonna be able to take place in, so you're gonna take over your role on that Order. island. Good, 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 good. You take over that. Ready. You guys come down as well. And at the moment, just put yourselves on the ports and whatnot. Good. 153. What I want, what I need, what I want is the Royalist Bulldog. Hell yeah, brother. We'll keep doing that. And... Oh, wait. They just capitulated. I thought I'd already took it over. Yeah. Oh, I can puppet them. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Puppet... Conquer. Puppet, conquer. Puppet, conquer. What about conquer? What about that? We have claims. There you go. Yeah, they're going to be considered colony states, but that is to be expected. Great Britain and Ireland. The Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. You, you got that uh, Irish... What is that? A uh, harp? Yeah, we got the Irish harp in there. You know, it's very important to me. Now, my main battle fleet is the Home Command. What kind of fleet might I expect to see in India? Go for the Bangalore Torpedo. Five. What's, what's worrying about a potential invasion of India is just the sheer size of this lad. Because they have no ships, so I don't need to worry about their ships. What I have to worry about is the potential for them to uh, break me. You... I'll have this fleet in particular. Let's see, what is this fleet? This is this command. Okay, the Far East Command. Okay, I'll bring you out of South China and focus on the territories immediately around India. That works for me. That works for me. You. Ah, your tank division's good. Get on over. That should be fine. As for you. Well, I actually don't want a lot of you. No. Stop that. I don't need you. You think I'm stupid, but I'm not stupid. You. Board operating base. Right there. Put yourself over. And make sure some of these are actually put in the right direction. I wish that they would start the game already in a state of action. And I didn't have to do this every time I started a new game. RF Squadron over India, over Jai Hind, over my dead body. More bombers, maybe. Hmm, more fighters. 144. But why? Hmm. 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 I think the easiest thing I could probably do is just put them on attachment orders to this guy. That would probably be the very simplest. So that they'll eventually come on over anyway. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. So, we continue on. Bravely going when no one dares go. Italy claims Yugoslavia. Sure, take my fighters. I don't need them. Oh yeah, Burma exists. Okay then. Well, I don't have any... So I got Pakistan, India, but now Burma exists. I can't... I can justify a war goal against them. The real question is whether or not I can get a free justification on them. That's the real question, but with that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!